Hi, this is the second episode of the Maps in React series, where I'm showing you how to create a map app with pop-ups, a visualization switcher, geocoding control, 3D terrain, and a sidebar. In this episode, I'll show you how to create a heat map visualization for a point dataset, and how to switch between this and the original points. I'll continue from where we left off after the last episode. You can get the code from my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. I'm using the MapTyler SDK mapping library, which provides visualization helpers and is the only way to use session-based billing with MapTyler maps. One of these helpers is specially made for generating heat maps. Its construction is the same as for the points helper. and it has one required parameter, data. When we use the heat map visualization on our accommodation data set for Hawaii, it shows that most of the accommodation is concentrated around the coast. It does this clearly without crowding the map with lots of overlapping points. Heat maps are often used to show the spatial density of the data but you can also use an attribute of the data points to increase or decrease the effect that they have on that density. In my example, I don't want to spend more than 30 nights in Honolulu. Therefore, I'd like to create a heat map of accommodation based on the minimum night stay attribute. I can do this by setting up weightings for the accommodation. I want accommodation with a one night minimum stay to have a weight of one, and accommodation with a 30 nights or more minimum stay to have a weight of zero. This will exclude accommodation which can only be rented for more than 30 nights. I can already see that some points are now being excluded in the calculations for the heat map. However, many of the smaller clusters look the same size. When I zoom in, I can see the size differences a little more clearly between the standalone points compared to small clusters but we can update the size to give better definition. One twenty is probably too much, so let's make it sixty. OK, this looks better now. If you would like to play with the heat map opacity or styling across zoom levels, take a look at the documentation. The link is in the description below the video. If you're finding this video useful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next episode. OK, now let's create the visualization switcher. This will allow users to turn the heat map back into points so they can zoom in and identify individual locations. First, I'll need a button. I'll use Material UI to style it. On click, this button will initiate Handle Visualization Change. I'll create the selected map layer state to determine the selected layer to show. In Handle Visualization Change, I want to change the selected layer. To switch between visualizations, I need to be able to make the layers created by the MapTyler SDK helpers invisible or visible. I can do that by changing the visibility of each layer. This means I'll need to know the ID of each layer. I can get layer IDs from the SDK helper. I'll use states to prevent errors caused by setting the visibility of a non-existent layer.
Now let's set the IDs of individual layers. You can find the names of individual layers in the documentation for the MapDialer SDK helpers. I want to change visibility only after the map is loaded. Set layout properties has three arguments, layer ID, name, and value. If the heat map layer is selected, then the visibility should be set to visible. Otherwise, it should be none. And I'll do the same for the point layer. Now the layers switch with the button, but the point labels are still on. To fix this, get labels layer ID and set the visibility to none. It would be nice if we could get more data to display from the other attributes. We can do this using pop-ups or by showing the values in the sidebar. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss how to do this in the next episode. Bye for now.